it's Kaya here. You've arrived just in time for tonight's bedtime story. Although, I don't think I'm feeling comfortable enough for our bedtime story yet. So let's all do a big stretch. A little wiggle. Let's stretch our faces. And wiggle our cheeks out. Whoa, <laughs> feel a little dizzy. But at least we're feeling comfy. Now tonight's tale is all about a very clever cheeky monster. Do you think you know who? Well, our sofa is always eating things up, so maybe it will give us a clue. Let's take a look, sofa. It's a pair of glasses. Do you know which of the cheeky monsters wears glasses? How about I give you another clue? This monster is scared of the dark, loves science experiments, and asks a lot of questions. Who do you think it could be? That's right, you guessed it. It is Drago, of course, and she's the smartest cheeky monster I know. And to keep us company, I have a cuddly Drago right here. <laughs> Are you ready for our monster tale to begin? This one is called Drago Super Scientist. I've got these cheeky monster friends who love to hide from me. But when I'm buzzing with ideas, there's one I'm sure to see. Cheeky Monster Drago always helps me find out more. We question everything as our imagination soar. What does this do? She says to me. And why does this do that? Now wind it up. Away we go. Watch out. Oh no. Splat. So one time we were busy on a special rocket mission. And Drago said, we'll need some help for a plan of this ambition. She knocked on my shed door. I couldn't believe what we then found. A science lab with cheeky monster scientists all around. Now listen very carefully, cheeky monster gang. We found the things we need, said Drago, opening up the plan. Violet, you're cutting. Rocky, you're sticking. Spike, you'll paint the base. Glitter will glitter. And then we'll launch our rocket into space. We got to work and soon the rocket started taking shape. Though Rocky did need help when he got stuck with sticky tape. Spike mixed up the colours, then painted with such flair. And glitter added sparkle, spreading glitter everywhere. Let's move outside. It's launch time, Drago said excitedly. We rolled the rocket out. Could it be ready finally? One last thing, said Drago, adding water to the tank. Then we heaved it up onto the launch pad with a clank. Stand back, Drago shouted. Cheeky monsters, let's count down. Drago worked the pump. The rocket made a roaring sound. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. I really hoped that it would fly. Five, four, three, two, one, and wow! It launched into the sky. I gazed up at our rocket, whispering, Drago, you're the best. And then we dreamt of stars that we might find on our space quest. Wow, what a story! Could you imagine launching a rocket into space? Maybe one day you will. Anything's possible. But of course, every super scientist needs their sleep. So for now, let's go to bed and dream of rockets up in space instead. See you soon again for some more bedtime stories. Good night, cheeky monsters, and sleep tight.